So today I found out that my heat strips are not working on my heat pump. Um, of course, and a lot of times you wouldn't know this unless you had a real bitter cold night. You know, it's got down like 15 degrees or 10 or something like that. And you realize your house is getting colder and colder. It's not keeping up. Uh, because I have a heat pump system, you can see what I've done. I've got it on emergency heat mode, which in that mode, the outside compressor is not on at all. I'm relying just on the heat strips. And, of course, it's already warm in here anyway at 77 degrees. And I got it cranked up to 88. So at that point, I should have nice warm air coming out. But when we go down here and take my little laser, see my air temperature going into my vent. We're at 73 degrees. All right. Well, that's actually kind of, kind of surprising. Yep, 73. All right. And I go here to my vent down here. You can't really see it because it's dark. But I'm, I'm shooting the vent, and it's 76. It's a little bit, bit, little bit warmer, but I should actually be having like 9,500 degree air coming out. So that tells me my heat strips are not engaging for some reason. Uh, it could be a sequencer, it could be a burnt wire, could be, be a number of things. But if you don't check your system from time to time, what can happen during normal weather, you know, say you're, you know, it's just 40, 30 degrees, something like that, the heat pump can keep up and work just fine. But when you get those real bitter cold no nights, the um, your heat pump has to have assistance, and that's when the electrical heat strips will engage. Um, but... Uh, and when you get a night like that, you want to make sure it's working. Otherwise, you'll notice your house just keeps getting colder and colder. So I thought I'd check mine, and sure enough, it's not working. So now I get to crawl underneath the house, take things apart, try to troubleshoot it, and find out why it's not working. Okay, so Let's here I am that. underneath the house. This is the air handler. And I crawled in here, took this apart, and I found the... Uh, my sequencers are good. I was getting power to my heat strips. You can see there's three heat strips. And, but I have a lot of rusty, poor connections here, just from the sweat and moisture, I guess. So I'm going to pull the heat strips out and clean all this real good. And well, I'll show you what heat strips look like if you wonder. Okay, I got the heat strips out. Got them on my workbench so I can get all these connections loose r really well, get everything cleaned up well. I don't, didn't have much room to work under the house. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit. This is what what a heat strip looks like, and and imagine what it can do and what it does. This one is out of a three-ton air handler, and you may hear sometimes the terms you know like 5kW, 10kW. So so each one of these uh, elements here is 5,000 5, watts. So I got 5, 10, 15,000 watts. So this is more or less this this little box here. Okay, will heat. An entire you know, 2,000 square foot house. It's pretty amazing. You know, it's just like a giant toaster, but it's really cranking the juice too. Uh, to keep it in perspective, to get the equivalent amount of heat, you take a, it take over 12 ceramic heaters to give you the same amount of heat that this one little box can. Uh, so it can really warm up a house quick. Of course, you'll pay the price when you're in that uh, emergency heat mode. But it's good to have when you need it. And it's a good thing I checked it out because mine was not working. I was relying on heat pump only. And when you drop, that drop down below, you know, 32 degrees or so, it's just not efficient enough to keep up and the heat strips have to kick in. And, uh, and mine were not kicking in due to all this corrosion and rust. But I'll get all this cleaned up real well and clean everything. Put it back together and see what kind of temperature. Well, as you can see, I've had a change of strategy. I've decided to just go ahead and, and change out the entire heat strip. Uh, after I, these were so rusted, these weren't going to come off very well without stripping the screws and all that stuff and causing me trouble. And um, I need to re rely on this heat, especially where we, we, we leave and go away out of town for you know, 30, 60 days at a time. I need to make sure I have reliable heat. And we don't have any issues. And also, while I'm under there, I'm going to change out the sequencers. All right, here we go. Here's the sequencers. To give you a little, little idea of how these work, these sequencers is what are oh, called time delay switches, different terms for them. But you have 24, 24 volts come down here to the lower. And it uh, heats up a little piece of, uh, it's like a dome piece of metal. It warms up, and then it, it pops. And when it does, 
it engages, it closes contact on these, and they're, they go off in stages. <clears throat> so when you call for, for emergency heat, it'll turn on one strip, you know, and it'll, it'll turn, heat one up, and then a few seconds later, the next one will come on, till you get the third one. So it's, it stages, it's staged heating, it comes on. Same way when you shut off, it, it stages down, click, 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 shuts them off. <clears throat> and this here is on the blower motor also. You'll notice sometimes you'll turn on the thermostat and you'll notice it don't come on instantly. You got about you know 15, 20 seconds, then you'll the it'll the blower will kick on, and that's why that is because of these um, time delay switches. That's what causes the delay. So I'm going to change them all out and uh, so hopefully eliminate any future issues. Okay, new. Uh, I've got it installed now with all the wires, all this mess, and I'm fixing to kick it on. We'll see what it does. Yeah, always want to turn your breakers off when you full that. It's got a little bit of a delay. So let's wait for it. Wait for it. How long is it going to take? Come on, sequencers. Do your job. Heat up. Heat up. Heat up. It's coming. I promise. It's coming. There it goes. Yay! Yeah. All right. It's a working. I can smell it already burning the foot off of it. So uh, I'll check some temperatures and make sure it's going to be right back inside. And you can see here now when I check my temperature, I'm getting close to 90 degrees now coming out of it. So all is good and we should be nice and warm. Even while we're gone, the house should stay in good shape.